With Booleans, you can create holes or complex objects in Blender really easy and really fast. We have three types of Booleans, intersect, union, and difference. Or in mathematics, we like to say and, or, and not. And now I will show you how to create any of these three results really easily and show you a fourth result and maybe even fifth, so stay tuned. Okay, in order to use Booleans, first we need to go to the modifiers here and to apply Boolean modifier. But applying it by itself, it doesn't mean anything because for the Booleans, as you can see here, we need two objects, either to intersect them or to merge them together, like union or to use one to cut another, like difference. So we have a cube and let's go and use a sphere. Why not? I will press G and uh, Z to move it on Z axis. And by the way, here you can see what I'm pressing in my mouse gestures, etc. So I will go to the top view G and move it right here. So we have something like that. And also I can just go right click and shade smooth, shade auto smooth and also with the cube. So by shading auto smooth, if you remember from previous tutorials, you're automatically uh, this auto smooth is selected. Otherwise you need to select it manually. Nothing special. Okay. Now, in order to use Boolean modifier again, let's go to the modifiers here, select the cube because we want to apply the effect, the modifier to the cube, select the cube, go to the modifiers and select Boolean and simple like that. But if we change any of these, nothing happens. Why? Well, because we need to go here to the object and select the object that we want to interact with. So in this situation sphere and something happened here, but we don't see it. If you go to the union, again, we see the same picture intersect. We can see only the sphere. Why? Well, because we need to hide the sphere. And now if we hide the sphere, we can see really nice cut. This is a difference. Union is, they are merged like welded together and the intersect, you only see the part that is intersecting in between, as you can see right here. So this is the intersection part, union and difference. And yeah, this is a little bit tedious. They always hide this. And if you want now to move the sphere, you need to unhide it and move it somewhere to have a different cut then hide it. Uh, it's not so practical, but there is, an easier way. So you can go to object properties here, go all the way down to viewport display, and then you want to change the display as instead texture, you want to go to bounds. And this is it, we have this. And now you don't need to hide anything. You can only hide here for the render because you don't want this to be rendered. And now you can easily move do whatever you want, make it bigger, make it smaller. And in that way, really easy, make a whole cut object in, or make something complex. Like, let me show you, for example, let's move this to the middle, to the cursor and voila, we have really cool object here. This is a little bit more complex object and it's not so easy to make it manually, but with the Boolean tools, really fast and easy. And if you go back to the modifiers and select cube, we can go with the union and we can go to intersect and we have different results. Okay, but there is a much better way and much faster and more fun way to create Booleans than doing all these things. I'm showing you this to know that matter too, but let me show a better way. Better ways, let's go back a few steps with the sphere here, for example, okay. And uh, I will go and undo this. Perfect. And just go to the cube and just delete Boolean. And now in order to do that, we need to go to the edit preferences and enable a Blender default plugin that is called Bool Tool. Just type Bool and you will see Bool Tool. Just enable it and that's it. And you want to go here to save preferences and that way every time you open the Blender next time, you will have this. You don't need to do it again. Okay. And now in order to do the same magic, you need first to select the object that you want to make a cut with. Then holding shift, select the object that you want to be cutted. So the object that we want to interact with and the object that you want to interact with that object is that if that makes a sense, uh, crazy mathematics. Okay. So like that, and then press a keyboard shortcut control and minus on numeric keyboard. And that's it. Everything is done automatically. We have this bounding box here and we have this hidden and we have difference. If you want union, just press here. If you want to intersect, just press here. So simple and easy with just keyboard shortcut. Also, you can go with a shortcut like control plus that's automatically union or control asterisk, uh, wait, like that control asterisk and that's 
star on Mary keyboard and that's uh, intersect and there is a fourth option that I mentioned at the beginning and that's if you press shift control and B you have this bool tool menu and you have auto boolean and you have brush boolean and you can see the slice is the fourth method so if you press slice let me show you really quickly slice here you get the part that is intersection of these sliced out so as a new object you can see here it's completely new object and that's useful in so many examples especially if you're doing hard surface modeling it can be really useful but uh, it's like hidden so just press shift control b and you will have here difference between auto boolean and brush boolean is that if you press auto boolean you will have just the cube and already applied modifier and you don't need to do anything but i don't like that i like to go with uh, this brush boolean for example difference and that way i can interact with this maybe i want a little bit bigger maybe i want to do something else to rotate if it's a different object etc or to move it somewhere etc and then when i'm totally uh, certain that this is it that i don't want to move uh, modify it further i can go here and press apply and then i can go here and delete this and have this that is destructive workflow and i cannot make changes anymore this is non-destructive workflow with uh, this present here all the time and you can make changes all the time and now let me show you a fifth way what you can do with the booleans it's really cool so for example i will make a copy of the cube and let's let's go with this move it a little bit more up and just uh, move it somewhere here it doesn't matter and uh, if we select this cube and then this cube and press ctrl minus we have this everything is the same we didn't do anything else but if you go and select only this cube and add here a modifier so yeah what i didn't said we want difference we want difference this cube to cut this cube but we want to go to the cutter to this cube we call it cutter uh, go to the modifiers and select solidify and now doesn't seem much but if we go and change the thickness a little bit see what we have we have amazing result here and we can create really interesting shapes and yeah you can cut it however you want and if you apply the modifier you will have this as a one object but i never use it for that i use it for some really cool cuts for for this type of uh, things on an objects and it can be really really cool you don't need to use the square you can use any other object but also a really interesting thing is that if you go to the edit mode of the cutter and here change anything for example let's add bevel like this maybe even more to be oval it will affect the cut here on the main object and now if you go here and say apply and uh, let's delete this you will see this is just one object and this is it and really easy really fast you can create this type of a little bit more complex shape so let's go here and add a cavity just to see it better see really really nice and let's undo a few times and now if you go to this cutter here and add another solidify modifier you can create even more interesting shape by changing the thickness so if you go with the thickness up you will have again something like that but if you go in a minus direction you will have doubled this i don't know how to say this cut here so you can really create cool and interesting ways you can also use it on a spherical object for example to create some kind of a sci-fi object like maybe some kind of a drone here i'm using a cube as a cutter and apply multiple different solidify modifiers and change the setting between them tweak them and you will have different type of results Practically the possibilities are endless here. And now that you know what the booleans are and how to use it, let's quickly create a really cool piece of cheese out of it. So let's go to edit and face and just uh, move and scale this on the x-axis like that. Then go to the object view and S and Z to scale it down on the z-axis. It's really cool. And now let's go to the top view and S and Y and just scale it a little bit on y-axis to make like a piece of cheese really nice really nice piece of cheese we want to make it like a swiss cheese with a hole so you imagine what we will do we will create a bunch of spheres and do a booleans and i will show you how to use multiple objects on one uh, to, to apply boolean so let's just quickly add those spheres so first i want to add one sphere like that 
and I want to shade it smooth. And also I want to go right here and shade smooth the cheese. So with the sphere, make it smaller. And let's just do a first Boolean, control minus. Remember I first select the sphere, then the cheese. And here, as you can see, we have, we have, let's uh, create, uh, select this. We have first hole. Beautiful, perfect. And now if you make a copy of the sphere, you're not going anywhere because mm, it's not working like that. You need to have just two objects for Boolean. So in order to do that, we can go to the edit of the same object, make a copy of that. And here you can see it's cool. Make a copy, shift D and then move it somewhere here. And again, change the size and just populate the cheese with these spheres like that. So that's one way and it's perfectly legit way. And I will show you another way how you can do it. Maybe it's easier for you. So let's undo a few times. So we have a sphere that will go maybe maybe here, then I will make a copy of this sphere, shift D and just put it somewhere here, maybe make it smaller Then uh, maybe move it, I don't know, move it somewhere here, another copy shift D, put it here, make it smaller. And now I will just fast forward this and make shift D and a lot of these spheres everywhere on the cheese surface. So for example, I made a bunch of these, Let's just add another somewhere here just for fun like that. And let's call it done. And now in order to apply all of these like a horse on one object, we need to just group them into one object to, to join them as one object. So select first sphere and go all the way down and select the last sphere and press Control J or command J on a Mac. And this is it. As you can see, we have just two objects. Yes, in this one, we have merged all these spheres. And if we want, for example, now to change one of these spheres to make it bigger or smaller, we can still do that by going to the edit, any of these face, for example, and just go with the mouse on one of these spheres and press L to select all, not knife, but L to select all the linked objects. And now we can just move it up make it smaller, make it bigger and do whatever we want with any of these. So we want this one L or this one L, this select, see, really easy. Okay, and now that you know that, you know what we need to do next. Select the spheres, then select the cheese and press control minus. And here it is, we have a beautiful piece of cheese, really easy, really quickly with a bool tool and also what is really cool, we can just go right here and add a material. Let me show you that trick really quickly. Go to the base color and choose some cool yellowish tone like that. And we have our cheese and maybe uh, we want uh, to add a little bit more speculars and less roughness to uh, make it a little bit more reflective. But we can go even further. Let's hide first this. We don't need it. We want to go with the surf, uh, subsurface scattering. So subsurface here and choose the color for that, maybe a little bit more reddish or something. We can go even a bit brighter, but let's go with the orange tone. And let me show you if we go here a little bit more, we will get that feeling that it's really nice, cool, tasty cheese. And also we can add lights and render that, but uh, you already know how to do it. The point here is how to use Boolean tools and you can create whatever you want. You can use your imagination and create complex objects using simple objects, intersect them, make a union, make uh, some kind of difference or whatever you want. But there are a lot of issues with Booleans that will uh, be the topic for some other tutorials. There are a lot of things that using Booleans you will have uh, not so, so good shading, you need to make some corrections, etc. I will show you that in one of future episodes, but for now this is just a Boolean basic. So uh, to learn to know what the Booleans are and how to easily use it in Blender. Right guys, let me know down there in the comments what you think about this topic and uh, see you in my next one tutorial. Bye bye.